to a, another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we lost a very valuable member of our team, being Kiwi the D Duo. She never got to become a Dodrio, but her memory will never be lost, and we will kick ass in her name. But, of course, we did replace her. Well, I can't say replace because I don't think Kiwi could ever be replaced, but we replaced her with a new Mon on the team. But let's go ahead and do our team recap then. So we got Littlefoot, our Meganium, leading us off. Charlotte, the Piloswine. Bo, our Arceus, or Arceus, however you want to pronounce it. Inosuke, the Primate. Cynthia, the Gastrodon, and our starter. And we have Donna, our Honchcrow, which is our replacement for Kiwi. Um, Honchcrow's not bad. It's a bulky Mon in its own way. But in this episode, we're going to take on Jasmine's Gym. Normally, it's a Steel-type Gym, but because it is a randomizer, it's going to be randomized. So let's see what happens. I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the Gym Leader, but battle is a separate matter. Go for it. Thank you. Giggle. I know how capable you are from the Lighthouse. It's time you showed that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. Yeah, they all like are like appreciative of you because of what you did. Um, so you don't even have to battle anyone, you just go straight to Jasmine. As, and I think that's like as a thanks that you don't have to like fight them, you just fight her now. I think she normally have like a Magneton, a Steelix, and a Scizor. Or not even the Scizor, I think it was a Magneton, Steelix, and something else. Alright, so we're going to be facing off against a Benary. We are pretty under level. We're going to go ahead and start off with the Poison Powder. I didn't realize that she was going to be level 30, so that means we're going to do some training off a screen. That shouldn't do too much. Alright, let's go ahead and get a Magical Leaf off. This Benary is frustrated at life. We're going to have to switch out after this magical leaf. Does decent damage. Takes Benary down into the yellow thanks to the poison. We're going to go ahead and send out a Nosuke. Damn, Inosuke. We should be able to live another hit. We're going to go ahead and go in for a low kick. Now take out the Puneri. Yes, it will. Got a Skarmory. That seems like a Mon that she would have. We're going to go ahead and switch, though. Um, I think I'm going to switch out to Cynthia. So level 35, must be the ace. We're gonna do a mud bomb. Oh wait, I forgot. That's a flying type. Huh, <sighs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, we're gonna go with the surf. It's gonna throw out spikes. Surf does some decent damage. Of course, it's using a citrus berry. We're gonna surf again. Won't do much to us. Good surf. We'll do one more surf. Never mind. We're gonna throw in a hyper potion into the mix. I mean, that's kind of redundant to use spikes again. Uh, water pulse to finish it off. And there we go. And then an electrode. 
Go ahead and keep battling. Properly tempered steel won't be made rusty. Something, something dark side. Gonna go ahead and use a mud bomb on the electrode. And we'll just keep on doing that. Steel will hang on to the very last. Yeah, there goes your next hyper potion. Two more mud bombs should do it. Oh, we missed. Come on, Cynthia. There we go. One more mud bomb is all we need. There it is. That will finish the battle. To the victor goes the spoils. Cynthia will head off the team at level 31. Well done. Get $8,400 for winning. You are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with league rules, I confer upon you this badge. And that is where we get the mineral badge. With that badge, all Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 70, will obey you without question. Please take this too. We got TN23, which is Iron Tail. Alright, let us see if Iron Tail can be taught to anyone. Does 100% power, 75% accuracy. Ooh. That'd be ridiculous. Let's go heal up now that we have uh, defeated Miss Jasmine. Are we gonna get a call? Well, we are gonna get a call from. But it's from Mom, so it doesn't really matter. She's probably just telling us about berries or something. So we'll probably need to go into the Pokemon after this just to see what new berry she's given us. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Alright, um... We need to put Donna up front, I believe. And get Donna up to par with everyone. Good evening, Tatted, isn't it? I have a package for you. Oh, she's giving us a Hyper Potion. Fantastic, Mom. Beautiful work. What else did we get us? Ah, uh, here's the berries. Yashi berry. Anything else? No. Well, I guess it wasn't a total mom moment. She did give us a hyper potion. Um, we need to go ahead and fly over to a critique. And then from Ecritique, we need to go over to the right. Hmm. 
I just want to see if there's like any special thing before we go inside the cave. Letiba. Man, that Donna's cry is ridiculous. Let's go ahead and use a wing attack. Astonish. Takes care of the Lidaba. See. There's a sweet in there. Ah. I gotta teach someone cut. I don't really want to teach anyone cut, but I got to. I'm not going to teach it to bow. Go ahead and get rid of Solar Beam. We don't really use it at all, so I mean... Until it becomes necessary again. Now let's go ahead and use Cut. This way we can encounter the sweet coon. Sweet coon, how brave it is, how refreshing it is, how beautiful it is, and how quickly it moves. Tatted, you seem to be around where a sweet coon would appear. Well, that's okay. My desire to search for Suicune is far beyond yours. My grandpa was quite in the midst. I've heard so many stories about Suicune from him. Suicune, I won't stop until, or I won't stop following you until I found out what you're after. You hear me? I mean, I think Suicune is just after purifying waters. I don't think it cares about anything else. Yellow apricorn, green apricorn, and a pink apricorn. Pick up this item real quick. Sharp beak. Ooh, I think that helps with a. Uh, Bird type moves, doesn't it? Fly type. Yes, we're gonna give that to Donna. Beautiful. Dragon Fang. Okay. Alright, so let's go back the other way real quick and get up into the cave. And we're gonna take on some people in the cave. Now, I need to get the book out just to make sure that we got our mounts on the water and counter them. So, it appears we never did get our mount mortar and counter. Um... We might have decided to wait, but I'm going to go ahead and write this down then. Alright. So, let us see what our Mount Mortar encounter is. Uh, F and Centret. Not exceedingly happy about this. We're gonna use pursuits. And then we're just gonna throw a Pokeball at it. And descend it. Shouldn't take too much effort to catch it. Ah. 
Okay. The Scout Pokemon. Your crash Pokemon it raises itself up on its tail to get a better view of its surroundings. Well, I think its description gave us a name, so we're gonna go ahead and just name it Scout. And that's what we're gonna do. So I need to get the book out real quick just to write this down. We encountered Centrit. We named it Scout. Alright. Let us continue on. What else could we have encountered in this beautiful cave? Mew is laughing at me. Mew's pursuit. Oh, he just mega punched me. Bro, you need to calm down with that. Let's get out of that real quick. Hmm. I'm just gonna shift up to Bow and just slap the crap out of this Mew. So which came first, Mew or Arceus? <laughs> Go and use Hyper Voice. Alright, so there are Mew in this area. Go on, heal up just a bit. Alright, so let us go continue on. Float soul. Wing attack. Should be a good area for Donna to get some experience. She hits level 17. Oh wait. There's your stuff down there? Hang on, hang on. Okay, no. Just wanted to make sure. Bright powder. What is that? Don't remember what bright powder is. Okay, lower the accuracy. Interesting. Oh, so there's no way to actually like get away from that area. Stop mega punching me. Yeah. You live that? Alright, let's go ahead and switch out to Charlotte then. And we'll just use Headbutt. We'll go this way. I 
Oh! There's also Zapdos in here. How lovely. Alright, let's go out to Charlotte. Yeah, not gonna do anything, buddy. We're gonna go ahead and use Icy Wind. One more Icy Wind. Audio Sabdos. Guess we'll go this way. We got ourselves a coughing. Wing attack. And one more wing attack. Donna hits level 18. Yes, let's use strength. We gotta explore. Another Zapdos. Icy wind. Oh, never mind. How about now? There we go. Empoleon. That would have been a good encounter. I don't know if it knows any ice type moves yet. Let's go ahead and switch out to Littlefoot. And then we'll use Magical Leaf. Uh, one more. Item Magnemite with a Magost Berry. There are full on Charizards up in here. Well, I would have had a heyday if I would have ran into that. He would have been on the team. If y'all didn't know, Charizard is my favorite Pokemon. And he was my favorite Pokemon before he was like mainstreamed and stuff like that. Since 1996, or whenever it aired, 98 something, I don't know. Back in the 90s. Oh, 
Oh, now we're just going to encounter several Charizards. No, it's fine though, because that's experience. Good stuff, good stuff. We got another... A Pecha Berry. More Charizards. Oh, that's a Magma. See what this guy wants. Oh, he wants a battle, okay. Hey! Uh, hello. Trainer Mia. With a skitty. Cardona, use fly. Alright, well that was anticlimactic. I believe this way just leads to the little cliff thing to jump off. So we are going to go ahead and run this way. Then down here to grab this item. A chingling. Down goes the Chingling. Level 20 for Donna. Immediately go into another battle. Run into Floatzel again. So got annihilated. Got ourselves a Dawnstone. Not bad at all. Let's see what this way leads to. Oh, wait. Duh. Leads back where we were. We need to go to the right. Duh. The Empoleon again. Go ahead and get out of its hair. Big steel boy. Let's see. We do not have rock climb yet, so we can't get those. An Illumise. Go ahead and wing attack. This way, get ourselves a Durinberry. Alright, so that's as far as we can go, really, in this area. So we need to go back this way and go over the cliff. Come on, Donna, let's go.
Come on. Just like that. See? Good stuff, good stuff. Got ourselves a float soul. Go ahead and use fly. Donna hits level 21. Let's go ahead and go up real quick before we go out. Coughing. And Donna is putting in some good work. I'll give her that. Oh, looks like we can go up. Let's go up. Centrets. Well, you just wing attack. Should be able to KO with the fly. There we go. That was a crit. We got some berry juice. Wing attack. Oh, this guy's just a challenger, okay. I'm not losing this time. Hey, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Jacqueline. Your Rhyperior. You know what we say to Rhyperiors? We say hello with Littlefoot. Look how little happy Littlefoot is to see you. Use Magical Leaf. Bass, keep battling. And magical leaf. And there we go, take them out, and outside we go. Oh wait, we're still in mountain water. Never mind. Thought that was outside. Ooh, Ludicolo. Let's go ahead and use Fly, and this should be good. Some should be like two to three hundred experience. Ludicolo is a big boy. Almost four hundred. Okay. Another area we can scale the wall with a rock climb later on. 
Cedra. Ooh, it's got a poison point. Okay, Cedra, I see you. Now we're back outside. So we need to go ahead and use... What's this do? Okay, let's go get our poison berry and heal up. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If y'all enjoyed today's episode, go and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!